Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting and tricky algebra question. We have b plus b plus b equal to b times b times b. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, why do you record this video? This is a very easy question, very easy algebra question from the 7th grade, so I can easily solve it in a few seconds. But in the same way, one student wrote this type of comment under my post about this question, and he said that he had this type of question on their math exam, and he solved this question absolutely incorrect. And right now, let's try to solve it. Let's try to solve this question completely and step by step. So first of all, don't be scared about this expression on both sides, on the left side, on the right side, because if you're talking about the left side, b plus b plus b, we are talking about 3b. So on the left side, on the left side, we are talking about 3 3b. On the right side, if you're talking about right side, we have b times b, we have b square, b square times b, we have b cube, okay? Okay, 3b equal to equal to b cube. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They say that from here, from here b is equal to zero because this is obvious solution and they say that completely, they completely solve this question. But in the same way, don't forget about the fundamental theorem of algebra because if you're talking about the fundamental theorem of algebra, we need to consider what is the maximum power in our polynomial. If you're talking about the third power, so we need to consider that right here we have three roots in a total. We don't know about real number, we don't know about complex solutions, we are talking about three three roots so we we find only one of these so right now let's try to find another one how can we do this first of all this is our our cubic equation b cube equal to equal to 3b so right now let's bring this 3b to our right side as a result we have b cube minus 3b is equal to zero okay and right now let's consider this this equation. This is not a quadratic equation, this is like a cubic equation, but with one really interesting moment. We can easily factor from here our b. And when we factor from here our b, as a result, in our parentheses, we will have like b square, b square, minus minus 3 equal to 0. And from school we need to know that a product equal to 0 when the first expression equal to 0 or parentheses doesn't matter when two, two expressions equal to 0, this one or, or this one. But I'm going to show you a really great trick. This 3 can be written as square root of 3. We have square root of 3 square. This is absolutely the same expression, but right now we're going to consider it as a difference of squares. So as a result we have b times b square minus, instead of this 3, let's write square root of 3 to the second power, square root of 3, we have, we have squared, okay, equal to 0. And right now, let's consider it as a difference of squares. We have b square minus square root of 3 square. And from school, we need to know a really great formula. We have a square minus b square. This is our our school identity. We have a minus 3, a minus b, and a plus b. So a minus b and times a a plus b. This is our really easy school identity. Right now, let's apply this identity right here. So as a result, what do we have? b times, we have a minus b, so b minus square root of 3, b minus square root of 3, and times b plus square root of 3, b plus square root of 3, equal to, equal to 0. Okay? And right now, a product of three expressions equal to 0, when the first expression equal to 0, so from here we have that b first is equal to 0, or the second expression equal to 0, okay? So we have b second equal to square root of 3. Let's write our full equation, b minus square root of 3 equal to 0. And from here, our b second is equal to, is equal to square root of 3. This is our second, second equation. This is our uh, first solution. And right now, the third one, so we have b plus square root of 3. b plus square root of 3 is equal to 0. From here, our b third is equal to minus square root of 3. As you can see, we find our, our three, three roots to this question, and this is a very tricky moment, because a lot of students say that we have only one solution, b first equal to 0, they solve this question only in two lines, but as you can see, this is a very tricky moment, don't forget about a full solution, as you can see, we have we have three, three solutions. But let's check these solutions real quick, so we have b first, b second, and b third. We don't need to check this b first, because this is very obvious, or maybe you, you don't understand this, you can easily, we can easily check it. So in the beginning, what do we had? We have b plus b plus b equal to b times b and times b. Let's write our expression what we had in the beginning, okay? And when b first is equal to, is equal to zero, what do we have? We have zero plus zero plus zero equal to zero times zero times zero. This is absolutely, absolutely correct expression. So everything is 
is okay. Write down the second root, b second equal to square root of 3. Let's see what will happen when we have plug in our square root of 3. As a result, we have square root of 3 plus square root of 3 and plus square root of 3 equal to square root of 3 times square root of 3 and times square root of 3. On the left side, we have three same expressions. So we add the same expression. So as a result, we have three of these expressions. So in terms of mass, we have three square root of three, three square root of three. On the right side, we have square root of three times square root of three. So right here we have, we have three. And as a result, with this square root of three, we have absolutely great expression. So as a result, our second solution is, is also a great solution for us. And right now, let's check our third solution. Okay, let's do this right now. So our third solution, b third, b third is equal to minus square root of three. Let's do that. So we have minus square root of three plus minus. So let's write minus square root of three and let's write minus square root of three. Okay, equal to minus square root of three times minus square root of 3 and times minus square root of 3. What do we have right here? On the left side, minus square root of 3 minus, th minus square root of 3 equal to minus 2 square root of 3. Minus once more, we have minus 3 square root of 3, minus 3 square root of 3. And on the right side, we have minus minus minus. We have the, the general sign will be negative. And as a result, we have absolutely the same expression as right here. So square root of 3 times square root of 3 equal to equal to 3 and 3 times square root of 3 equal to equal to 3 square root of 3. Okay, so as you can see, all three, these three solutions is absolutely great for us. We we check it right now. We can see a graph to this question. I can easily draw the graph for you you can easily see this uh, graph from from math library and right now we can easily we can easily approximately draw this graph so we will have like three points of uh of points of intersection if you're talking about our our cubic function we have we have something like that yeah and if you're talking about linear function we have something like that okay so we have right here point of intersection right here point of intersection and right here maybe we'll have point of intersection minus square root of three we have zero and we have square root of 3 and our linear function so so we can draw this something like that so as you can see we have we have three points of intersection which is which is really great and in the same way this is a very tricky question because a lot of students a lot of students uh, tell that we have only one solution because in the beginning when they simplify the expression we have b plus b plus b equal to b times b times b a lot of students maybe maybe 90 percent write that b is equal to zero because zero plus zero plus zero and they prove it only in only in three lines which is really bad thing in terms of math so try to solve this question completely and step by step so we hope you understand my explanation let's write our, our final answer to this to this tricky question so b first equal to zero b second is equal to is equal to square root of three and we have b third equal to minus square root of 3. Very tricky question, I hope you understand it, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel, so you can also write your, your notes, write your solution, write your question down into the comment section, and see you in the next videos, have a great day!